so um we can also do a little bit of a a beginner's guide to to planet base yo what's up guys how you guys doing um so today i thought we would play some planet base as uh i don't know it's, it's a pretty old game but nonetheless i i enjoy this game so i hope this will be a start to a new series um since we are taking the channel into this direction base building and things like that uh i actually played this game this morning and i was like you know what i'm gonna play it again so i might as well record and start a video so anyways uh if you guys are new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a like on the on this video just to help with the youtube algorithm but let's start a new game we're gonna actually start on the class d planet um i was on the suicide planet but what i was thinking is we do the series class d class f class m class s and we carry on from there um first things first actually let me quickly fix this something's not like a uh, quality and release sync needs to be off okay it's a new game we're gonna do on the class we're gonna call this a duna red hence the name duna red okay um this class d medium-sized desert planet with a thick co2 atmosphere which partially protects it from meteors and solar flares which means that that probably those are still happening the characteristics is light amount is high solar panels operate at full capacity atmosphere density is high suitable for wind turbines sandstorm risk is very high media risk is low so let's actually wait wait let's start with the Juno red this pretty looks like a this looks like a cool spot and it says a season seven well south seven degrees east 97 degrees so let's get into it your base's welfare is critical you won't get any new colonists if they see your base is pretty run okay cool so um we can also do a little bit of a a beginner's guide to to planet base so we're launching here on let's call it mars we i don't know why, why would why they just didn't call the class d planet mars but i would assume a class d planet is considered mars if we're talking about planet base itself so we've got one two three workers so the workers are blue the biologists are green the engineers are orange and the medics are red We've got a carrier bot which is blue and a constructor bot which is orange so we're going to start this out by first building a co2 oh sorry not co2 what am i saying a uh, oxygen i want to put a but i want to build it a little bit away from there um i want to build a oxygen spot as well as it's called the oxygen generator and an airlock obviously we want to make sure that that gets power with the solar panel i'm gonna go for the largest solar panel because i feel like it is the best idea we actually want to prioritize these two because if we're prioritizing these two um as you can see like the sun isn't up for quite that while or quite a while it's so by the time this is built it'll probably be halfway and hopefully we can start generating power and not have to worry about power for a while um what I usually like to do is actually play this in three times or four times speed just to speed the whole process up. And we'll do that anyways. Um, we need a canteen for the colonists to eat. Okay, that's probably the next big thing. Now, as you can see, we don't have water as well because we need water for oxygen generation. So actually, what we should be doing is prioritizing that. And that is why we are not getting any sort of oxygen at the on the bright side we are getting a lot of power which is good to see we can uh, recycle our colonist ship but yeah so what we're going to do is we are going to create a meal maker we're going to create a table we're going to get some drinking water which is there we make sure we get a, some nice plants in here just to you know in heighten the mood put uh you know just make it look nice on the red planet we don't have to be so well, I mean, we have to be resource sparing, but not to a massive extent. So the biggest thing actually we want to do is we want to make sure that we can grow more food, which is the biodome. Okay. The biodome is going to be, I actually want to put the biodome here. Hello. Is it not going to work? Should work. This should work. Okay. Well, we're going to put it there then. So the biodome is going to go there. And then we are going to also need a processing plant. Okay. Processing plant is for the creating um, a new, what's it, what are these things called? A new bioplastics and new metal. Okay. 
So the processing plant, I wanted to wanted it actually to go there, here, but it looks like it's not going to work unless it's a big one. But I was wondering if we could... Oh, that doesn't work. So, oh wait, that worked. Wait a minute. I wanted to go... You know what? Whatever. That is where it's going to go. Actually, maybe if we keep doing that, we'll probably find that it'll snatch on. I think that's what will happen. There we go. It'll like sort of get rid of that hill. So you see there. Um, now we'll just keep moving it. And now that's exactly where I wanted it. Big brain plays. Okay. So we've got the biodome going. Now, before you guys look at the biodome, I want you to look at your meal makers quickly, right? And you go here and you say, the full list of recipes are here. So you actually want to make sure that you have rice. And I think it's vitro meat, which is the best one. But because we only have vegetables now, we want to go rice, wheat, and tomatoes. Okay. Can we go... Can we go... Uh, it needs to be three vegetables. Yeah, so it has to be rice, wheat, and tomatoes. So we go here, we go... A rice pad, tomato, and we said wheat, eh? Wheat. And then I don't think we need a medicinal pad in the meantime. So I'm going to double down on the rice. Okay. Then we're going to build a mine, which is close here. Because early on, you kind of want to like limit the the walking distance between, um, you know, to maximize efficiency. So you'll see the guys are actually quite tired now. I was silly because I actually didn't build a dorm. But we shall do that now. I think we should actually just build a dorm there, man. Everyone should just build a dorm there. We prioritize that. As you can see, we're running out of uh, metals. So, that should work. Uh, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine with that. We do need to build a metal processor so that once the ores are mined from the mine, which is going to be done here, it mines ores, then what we're going to do is we are going to use the metal processor to process the ores into new metal. Cool. Same with the bioplastics. The bioplastics, I'll show you where we get that from. But basically what happens is the reason why I've gone with double starch or triple starch is because um, it pr produces two food and produces starch. So we have got two sets of rice and a wheat pad and a tomato pad. Um, you will notice that when they get tired, when your people get tired, um, their efficiency decreases. So we've got seven people. I tend to like to have a bed for everyone. So I'm going to build eight beds. I'm going very fast. But like I said, I think uh, it's easier to sort of go fast, you know, um, in a situation like this, especially when time is of the essence. I mean, we've got people out here on the Class D planet surviving for their lives, you know. So that one's sleeping. We've got Rogelio H. Joseph just sleeping on the floor for some reason. Same with Selena. Um, and the problem with that is I think that takes longer for them to... It takes longer for them to regen their their sleep deprived uh, bodies by sleeping on the floor. I mean, it makes sense because you don't get. A, I would assume you wouldn't get a great night's sleep if uh, you know if you slept on the floor. So you'll you'll notice now we don't actually have any more materials. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recycle the colony ship. It gives us the extra bit. Um, I want to build a storage because storage will help with. Um, it will help the longevity of these outside materials because what happens is when these are outside and they're not protected by radiation they actually get damaged due to radiation so there you'll see we've re reached self-sufficiency under 10 minutes should have done this as, as, as a bit of a speed run but i mean that's what our little base looks like looks pretty cool and i think uh yeah we got the we actually don't have a wind turbine i don't not too worried about a wind turbine for now only because I feel that what's I'm actually just gonna build a wind turbine. I think it's best to just rather be safe than sorry, especially in a situation like this. So now you'll see. There's how many workers do we have? Okay, so we have we need to go to the stats. We've got three workers, two biologists, one engineer, one medic, zero guards. But we need a spares workshop. Now, that's made in a factory. 
The reason why we need spares is because spares repair your solar panels, your power collectors, your water collectors, and your wind turbines, etc. Um, I usually like to put the engineers in one sort of group. So you'll see the engineers all here, uh, here by the processing plant, and the factory will be there. Um, uh, so uh, the uh, so the workers and the engineers will go sort of here. Uh, when, once you build a robotics facility, which is used by engineers, that'll also go in this direction. So a lab we will build here, so that the biologists can produce vitro meat and create um, medical supplies. Because what happens is when your workers uh, work in the mine, they can they tend to get injured, and when they get injured, they consume food, but they don't actually produce anything for the base. So I'm just building a spares workshop over here. An engineer can make spares here. Um, I've basically just explained that. And as you can also see here, is that there's lack of entertainment. So the guys are getting really bored. But luckily plants sort of help with their mood. So this, if I click on this person somehow, did you see the mood actually uh, increase? And that's because of the plants. That's why I recommend sort of making sure that you have plants in your canteen like i've done because then you don't necessarily need a tv um so we're gonna go manufacturing limits now the reason why we need manufacturing limits is so that there are constraints within the base so that your workers engineers uh medics etc can work on different things within the base so what i generally like to do is i have 10 medical supplies 10 spares uh we yet uh five semiconductors one gun three carrier bots one constructor bot and three driller bots because if essentially once you get the blueprint for the driller bots you want three driller bots per mine working so that your workers can just be focusing all internally so i think i think the goal for this series will be for us to you know make this city a bit of a robotiza robotization i think is the word um kind of messed that up a little bit so that'll be the goal um, but as we can also see here, our biologists aren't really keeping up here. So essentially, we're probably going to need to build a lab. Okay. Now, once we've built a lab, that essentially opens our recipes up for, for burgers and pastas and things like that. So what we'll then do is we will probably take the tomato pad away. Um have rice wheat and then we'll have a i think some medicinal plants so that we can start making medical supplies but let's see um we're just waiting for this lab to be built a lot of the guys well the workers aren't really here so we're going to prioritize this so that we can is assure that they're working there spares are being made no more spares will be made because we've set the constraint which is 10 okay so that's why they'll now stop making spares. Now engineers will work elsewhere. So with regards to the lab, you can make a tissue synthesizer. And the reason why you want this near your biologists is because the tissue synthesizer is actually maintained by biologists. Okay. And obviously this is the exact same um, building that you will be using to create your uh, medical supplies on a workbench from your medics. So um you will notice that there is, okay so there's a sandstorm now the problem with uh this red planet okay is what i did not do and what i recommend you guys doing is actually getting a security control center or control center so that when there's a sandstorm and everybody's sort of inside because now i'll have to lock here because i don't want these guys to go outside right so everybody's safe now but luckily with a security control center what you can then do is you can actually there we go like here's, here's the hint that's saying the security control center panel allows you to control the alert status of the colony and there are three main settings no alert yellow alert and i think it's red alert so yellow alerts all kind of stay indoors and medics and guards are on extended duty you might also activate this setting during an attack red alert same as yellow alert but all colonists will try to attack so that'll obviously come into play a little bit later into the game but what's nice is it's sort of get it's an opportunity for the workers to sort of stay inside and focus on focus on the the resources 
So you'll see this carrier bot will now bring um, what's this? Oh wow, okay, so the, the constructor bot just uh, got disabled because it hasn't been maintained. So now the engineer is going to maintain the constructor bot, which is really cool. Um, and then okay, we can actually unlock this. What else do we need? We've got spares. Okay, let's look at our buildings quickly. Okay, so we've got a canteen check. We've got a dorm check. We've got a biodome check. We've got a processing plant check. We've got a factory check. A multi-dome. Actually, let's build a multi-dome. I think that'll be quite cool. You know, so that uh, the colonists can enjoy, um, can have some fitness. But we we just spoke about doing the control center. Um, I wouldn't really focus too much on getting a bar. I don't really see the purpose of, of the bar if you can use it in the multi-dome. If I'm not mistaken, if you have a bar, what it happens is it tends to make some of the colonists alcohol alcoholics. Um, and then what happens is they need to be treated. Which actually brings me to the next one of a sick bay. So we actually don't have a sick bay now because our... What do you call it? Because our lab is here. We actually, what we're going to do is we're going to make our sick bay here so that our nurses can, you know, have the shortest um, working, uh, sorry, walking distance to, so that's what, how you want to set up your base. You want to set it up so that your workers sort of have a, okay, the, the shortest distance to walk, engineers the same, biologists the same, and then nurses the same. And then obviously control panel, uh, sorry, guards who work at the control panel. Or control center whatever it's called so here we're gonna make an exercise bar we're gonna put a nice bench down and we're gonna put a plant down to increase the mood and we're gonna put another a, another bar so yeah that is pretty much the beginner's guide in 2021 on how to start your base on the red planet that is how i would recommend doing it if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you are new here subscribe to the channel because this is going to be where the channel is going and if you guys like these type of games then i'd recommend you subscribe to it and also make sure you put on those post notifications so that you know when i go live next all right again if you guys would like to join as a member uh, just feel free to click on the join button it's seven rand or i don't know how many dollars that is but it's seven rand um not a lot of money but then again that's not compulsory always appreciate it though um i prefer it though if you guys would just like and subscribe if you can't support in any other way because it really helps with the youtube algorithm so thank you so much for watching guys and uh yeah i look forward to this series have a good one cheerio for now don't forget to leave a like <laughs>